I, I hate it. to continue to make a career at your expense. I don't hate it, actually. <laughs> I'm glad that I have a little list of you that I get to. <laughs> That's horrible to say. One day I'm going to grow up. Logic, I beg of you. I'm pleading with you. Please join me in retirement. Never step near a recording device again. Throw your phone in the ocean. Be allergic to microphones. Mm. Promise your fans nothing. Don't go to the studio ever again. You are the worst, yo. <laughs> yo. You are really, really bad. What and then when we God. think he can't get any worse, you have the bright idea of doing an ice cube flip. No, wait, that was logic you played? Flag. Throw the flag. Throw the flag. Is, is he, I didn't even hear that the first time. I didn't he, hear that either. Is he black? Is he allowed to say nigga? Who gave him that pass? Web and Eddie. No, Weapon Eddie. <laughs> Weapon Eddie would have left him in. Now what? Now what you hey. I'm race baiting here. I am not. Let me make my problem with Logic very clear because people be confused. Logic is just not himself. I just think that Logic should be himself. He, he panders to the black community every other second. Well, if that's the problem with panderers is that they always got to find something new to pander to. I had a beef with him since he did that 1-800 mental health number shit. Just the suicide mm -hmm. I thought that was disgusting, but I could have been wrong. But ever since then, all of that Martin Luther King, we have a dream, freedom fighter speech shit he be trying to do, I don't buy it. Now, I could be wrong in that. Why don't you buy it? This cover was terrible. I'm still on it's, that. It's and then there's that part. So you want to like, make I, this I'm all not, he's trash. It. This was terrible. Yeah, no, the, the, co the cover was terrible. It, should should never, it shouldn't have that. been touched. First of all, it should. I'm going to tell you the truth. That shouldn't be said anywhere. Go ahead. Don't repeat it. But since this is a safe Swear space, to God. I'm going to say it to y'all. Your secret is safe with us. Yeah. If his talent was better, we would let him be biracial. Never tell me I don't turn. Never tell me I don't. I'm the up. greatest, yo. Up. Up. I'm the greatest, yo. Mm. Hey, no. listen. If he was better, we would. What's that stupid shit? Black people be saying, "Let him not cook out." We so trained and conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we not. We speak in their language. Talking about let him come to the cookout. Why do y'all think we have a cookout? Oh Mel, God, Mel, as the biracial oh, Joe Biden act at the black church. Logic, this band is trash. That whole shit is your, trash. Your matching visual to this is trash. Go back and watch the Ice Cube uh, It Was a Good Day video. Mm. Like, it was an amazing, great video. Was, There's context. That's my beef with Logic. It was. There's context to Ice Cube It Was a Good Day. Mm -hmm. The yeah. verses, the song, the story, the, look, everything. the experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he, of all songs to choose to cover, chooses that one. Back to pandering to relate as if your experience is any, and I'm not taking away from your biracial experience. Right. I'm sure that there's some of that. So I, I don't know. You can tell that story. But Ice Cube is not talking about that experience in this song. I don't know. He's talking about something a lot uh, more uh, weighted to mm -hmm. me. I think, well, not to me, to hip hop. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's yes. received that way. Mm -hmm. If you start coming into hip hop houses talking about, let me tell you about my biracial experience. Niggas ain't gonna try Niggas gonna throw rocks at you. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on Joe Button going in on Logic. And this time, it's all about the cover that he decided to do over the classic Ice Cube. It was a good day. And I'm going to add a link in the description where you can get the full context and listen to the whole episode of 608 because they did say a lot more on there. Now, if you don't know, Joe Budden been going in on Logic for some years, man. I see Logic speak on Joe in the interview. At one point in time, he was kind of clowning about the hit record, Pump It Up. Joe won smash single that he had in his whole entire career and everything. He was kind of poking at that. But Joe has been firm on never letting up on Logic. Anytime he drop, anytime he make the news and everything like that, he goes at him about the black and white struggle that he raps about because he's mixed or his dad is supposed to be black to my understanding. And Joe feels like he be pandering and everything like that. A lot of people probably do to keep it all the way a thousand with you because niggas just keeping it on it. I got no smoke or pressure with Logic. When I hear you talking about being mixed, I do know that there'd be a problem, but a lot of people probably don't be knowing that you mix logic. I'm gonna keep it all the way a thousand with you, G. But this time the pressure is about the actually it was a good day cover. 
And they saying, bro, it was terrible. You heard Joe, he said it was trash. I ain't gonna call you trash, bro, because I know in your heart, I feel like you had you love the song because it is a classic. I remember jamming. It was a good day when I was like a baby, nigga, with my people and stuff. My pops used to listen to it. Uncles used to listen to it. I remember seeing the video and everything like that. And they feel like you messed up a classic, bro. <laughs> to each his own. They got dog down on dog on Twitter, too. Uh, when it went, it kind of went viral and everything. And even Ice Cube's son, O'Shea, got in on the mix and said, Hey, bro, I think you a good rapper. We cool, but don't ever disrespect my mama again, nigga. Even he had to get in on the joke a little bit. But overall, bro, Logic, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you the best advice, my boy, because I ain't got no pressure with Logic. Do your thing, G. I, I don't listen to Logic. I respect anybody who got bars, can rap. People told me he can rap. I ain't never really slid to him like that. I listened to some verses, and I seen, okay, I see what he got. I see some people, why they would come to his shit, who own that style of music. That style of music ain't something I slide around to. But if I'm Logic, nigga, respond to Joe Button, man. Get in there and go at him. Pop your shit, nigga. Get in there and give him your best bars, nigga. Turn up on him. Joe gonna only keep going on you like he said in the beginning. He said, hey, man, I hate to keep doing this to you, but you keep, you know, pushing my career because Joe know this is a hot take. Joe know people going to laugh at this. They're going to react to it. They're going to speak on it. It's in the blogs. It's in the media already. But if I'm logic, nigga, I'm going to get in there and give Joe Button the crazy diss, nigga. Why not? Shit, if you don't fuck with him, he don't fuck with you. Give him the smoke, man. We all here to be entertained, dog. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Logic, man. You gotta do a little bit better, man. Step it up. Come back next time a little bit harder on there, man. And Joe Button, they steady doing their thing with the podcast going up. That's what's up. Good luck on there with the whole team with Logic, bro. Go ahead and step it up, man. Come back with another classic, but make sure you got it all the way together, man. Do a test run on it. We got more shit coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.